Okay, I looked at the other top and the staples are right along this edge. So I'm gonna, this is the back bow with the window in it. I'm gonna put this like this right here on the edge and I'm gonna staple it in there across on this uh, tack plate down in here. And then I'm gonna just put this on in pieces and uh, hope for the best because those are impossible to find. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna hold it there and staple it. And, and then when this, that'll leave slack in it so that these pieces here can suck it down and there'll be room for it to move. Because I thought about um, pulling this as tight as possible and then stapling it, but that would leave no flexibility in it. And that's not for pulling it tight anyways. These are for pulling it tight. So I'm going to get that stapled in and get that other piece screwed down. Maybe I'll use some electrical tape in some spots to smooth things out, but I'll get back with you. Okay, so I stapled it in right at the edge. This piece right here. Stapled it in and then I put this plastic piece over it. And now I'm, I screwed it in. I had to use different holes because some of them were uh, busted and stuff. So I got some small screws and screwed it in. And now I'm putting this cover piece on. You can see how it fits nice and snug and flat and makes a good transition so uh, some people I, I think don't have that but it's supposed to be there so put that in now okay I got this pushed in all the way across and now that part's done and I can climb out of here and put these down and Maybe start trying to adjust them for tension. I almost forgot I got to replace this piece. So that's in the mail. So I guess I'm just going to be done for a little while until that comes in. But I can probably get this off. I think you have to take this hinge cover off. And I don't know if it's from the factory or not. Somebody's got a bunch of this putty covering the bolts that I have to pick off. I can feel a couple bolts there underneath the putty. So I'm going to get this hinge cover off and then there's like a screw here and a screw here and I think it just snaps in here and then there was a screw here because this broke that's why I'm replacing it. So I might as well do that before I put the top on, or bolt the top in right there. So I glued these in. I didn't bother using a sprayer or brush. I just dipped that paper towel into this glue and rubbed it on there. $50 for this can. I only used just a little bitty bit. Hopefully that's got a long shelf life. Kind of stings your fingers when you get it on your fingers. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. And uh, hold on. This is the other side. I glued in. So before I glued it in, I was trying to tighten this in, and I tightened it so much this pulled right out. You can't put a lot of torque on these. There's a Just barely hanging on in there and it pulled out and I had to kind of bang it back in put the nut down on the flat side and bang it down because it kind of mushroomed out when it pulled out so I just got to remember you know that can't have much torque or it pulls right out and I'm not sure this is aluminum probably and this is metal so I don't think I can weld that back I could probably get a 
bolt and stick it in there and then get like a nut or something and put it on the back side. This had a spacer here and I don't know if it had one here or not. Uh, it's been sitting around for so long. I may have lost it. This one only has one. And that one looks like it never had any wear marks on the paint like one sat there. But this one does have wear marks like one sat there. And it, it's on both sides. So, I don't know. I'm going to just put it together without them, I guess, and see what happens. So, remember that bird I couldn't get out of here? Yeah. That's the mess it left. Because it sat up there mocking me. But, I left. I shut the doors. And I went to work. And a couple days later, we had a dead bird. There he is, sucker. So, he got what was coming to him. All right, I got the hockey stick off. And this is the rubber they sell for $35. It looks like it's okay. And to future Tony, you got the screws right down here in the gutter. Or the rain, I think when it, when the rain comes in and seeps in through here, it gets on this gutter and then it runs down and out that hole and down the bottom, I think. Somebody had a bunch of putty on the back side of all these bolts like it was going to hold water out. So I got the nuts there. I probably have to find another nut. Well, I don't know. But, uh, that other piece. Add it in the glove box. What did I do? Stuff it under the seat? Yep. Yeah, go figure. It's missing a nut. So I'll have to find a nut. But that broken piece right there, that's, that's why I'm replacing it. And uh, I think I ordered some new rubber here for that too. And I just got the outside. Looks like I didn't need the inside anyway. Looks like it's okay. So, you remember the mess of wires that was here? That went from up here all the way through here. There's still some of them there. I tucked most of them in behind here. And these ones are all kind of unnecessary. But I'm not certain because it's got this cap and it does jumper a couple wires together with that cap. But there's no reason for that to be fished under there. So I took it out of the harness and I'm going to, I don't know, curl it up or shorten it up or I don't know, whatever. Anyway, all these wires that were tucked under here, right here, are going to be gone. Except for this starter wire here. That's probably going to go back over in there. And uh, I'll have to find a place to ground all these. I did wind up snipping the electrical that goes to under this brake thing, but I don't need idiot lights anyway. So then I pulled them out from here. That was kind of a pain in the butt to get them through there and fished around, but now. I got the other half fished over here, coming from the headlight area, and I'm gonna I'm gonna snap all the plugs together and tuck them up under here. If hopefully there's enough wire to do that. Okay, so there's really not much difference there, but there was a lot of wire here before, going all the way down over here, and. Now that's gone, and I've only got a few wires instead of a bunch of wires. All these wires right here that was all bundled up and for the dash are all back behind here now. And it, it looks a lot cleaner. I got a bunch of wires stuffed in the corner that I really don't know what to do with yet, but I'm uh, happy with this. 
So my cup holder came in and it, the metal fits, but I got this. This is the shifter cables kind of in the way. So I'm going to have to, um, one, I'm going to have to figure out a way to secure this down, but I'm going to have to probably chop this cup. It fits all right if I leave it up like that. gets kind of jammed on the side of that cable. So and it, I thought it was gonna be a double cup. But it's not. So there's that. There. I had to Cut the bottom out of it because it was too deep and then I had to cut the side out of it where that cable was now it fits pretty good Doesn't... I have to hit a pretty deep pretty big bump for that to bounce out of there but uh well I guess that'll work it's better than nothing <laughs>